Okay. Millimeter waves are the best wavelength for applying uh, to, the, uh, to making borehole openings. This region uh, falls between uh, the microwave and the infrared range on the electromagnetic spectrum. It happens in a frequency roughly 30 to 300 gigahertz, or sometimes referred to as the near terahertz range. At this wavelength range, the physics works best for opening deep holes. It's robust because small particulates on the micron scale do not scatter this wavelength on a millimeter, where one micron wavelengths would be scattered and you'd have significant losses. Uh, it's efficient, we found in our experiments, that melted rock actually absorbs more efficiently than infrared wavelengths. And guided transmission uh, is possible in very efficient guides over tens of kilometer distance. And the technology is available. We do have commercially available megawatt gyrotron sources now that you, you can order now uh, and have delivered. A waveguide technology is available for uh, long distance efficient transmission. And also we have a suite of remote diagnostics that can be applied to monitor the process remotely from the surface. There's no need for electronics to be put into the borehole. I, I, I'm targeting uh, drilling in hot, dry crystalline rock formations, which are particularly uh, difficult uh, formation type for mechanical drill to drill. And also, we want to get to high temperatures. The diamond drill bit to the grinding process just deteriorates when you try to go over 400 degrees C. And also the electronic diagnostics, logging, all of that fails at these temperatures and these hard rock types. Uh, so that's where the niche where this will first, uh, I think, be of value. In the millimeter wavelength, or, or say the microwave uh, to um, near infrared here. Uh, this, this chart shows uh, all of the uh, uh, power source technologies. The blue are solid state devices, and uh, uh, green, uh, the uh, red are uh, vacuum tube devices. And these, this is a log scale of power, a log scale of frequency. And you can see, of all of the technologies, the gyrotron is the most powerful average power going over a megawatt out to about a 200 gigahertz uh, uh, frequency. And actually, they're more powerful than um, infrared laser technology out on the uh, higher frequency end. For example, lasers on a pulse basis are much more powerful. And just uh, an hour's drive west of here, we have one of the most powerful lasers in the world, the NIST laser facility. Uh, I think it's 10 terawatts or something. But it can only pulse once or twice a day for a nanosecond. It does not produce more power than one of these bulbs in the ball. Okay. Whereas the gyrotron, on average power basis, could supply all the power for the businesses on this block. Gyrotrons in the technology end. And on top of that, they're over 50% efficient, and lasers are typically about 20%. Okay, the gyrotron concept is illustrated here. It basically, uh, uses a uh, high-voltage uh, electron beam, uh, a relativistic electron beam, that is transmitted through a resonant cavity sitting inside a high-field magnet. The interaction occurs at the electron-cyclotron resonant. So by uh, choosing the field high enough, for example, five tesla field would correspond to 140 gigahertz re resonance. And this interaction is very efficient and converts the electron beam energy to microwave. Uh, also, we have what's called a depressed collector. Uh, the spent beam, then uh, the energy of it is recovered in using a two-step high voltage supply. So the uh, efficiencies are over 50% and they're pushing towards 60%. That's the goal now, or the millimeter waves. All right, so we, here it is, we've, uh, we've done it. Uh, this is basalt. It's a particularly hot sample, hard sample from my outer Mongolia. Uh, and this is a very hard rock. My drilling colleague tells me this, even now, uh, mechanical drills have trouble with basalt. But this, it, I, I hate to say the cliche, but it 
went through like a hot knife through butter. Milling rays are much more efficient than infrared lasers at heating molten rock. So uh, in this way, uh, you can make a strong hollow hole. 